Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. sure that all this stuff is exactly where it belongs tonight. Well, can't you do that tomorrow morning? No, I have to do it tonight. I won't have time in the morning. Why? Because everybody has strict orders to be at the bank an hour early tomorrow to meet the efficiency expert who is being sent over to check on how Mr. Mooney is running the bank. Efficiency expert? Is Mr. Mooney worried? Is he? I haven't seen him so scared since his wife started taking karate lessons. <laughs> for worrying. Those efficiency experts can be very tough, you know. Yeah? Yeah, we had one working at the studio. He came in to show him how to save money on a picture we were making called uh, Gunfighter at Gower Gulch. And, you know, he figured out a way they didn't have to pay the actors. How? Oh. They used real bullets. <laughs> oh, Mary Jane, you're joking. Yeah, I heard that on the Red Skelton show. Oh, for heaven's sake. Of course, I don't know what they need with an efficiency expert around here when they've got Mr. Mooney. You know, he never wastes a thing. He makes me straighten out bent paper clips. He makes me tie knots in old rubber bands. You know what he had me do last week? What? Send out my typewriter ribbon to be dry cleaned. <laughs> That's real cheap. Okay, I'm ready to go. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm getting in training for Mooney's new time clock. In training for a time clock? Yeah, if you don't punch it, it punches you. <laughs> You're joking, Lindsay. Yeah, I heard that on the Jackie Gleason show. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> the efficiency expert, has made drastic personnel changes at other branches of this bank because they were not run properly. However, Mr. Caston will find no fault at my bank because it is run competently by conscientious workers with one possible exception. Why are you late? <laughs> you gave me the last time. Well, I, Mr. Mooney, I'm not late. The bank isn't even open yet. I specifically requested everyone to be here one hour early this morning, and everyone was here one hour early except you, and you are 10 minutes late. Well, that's an improvement. I'm usually 15 minutes late. <laughs> you see, you can't even be late on time. <laughs> Never mind, there's no time for excuses. Now, staff, remember, this is a very important occasion for our organization. I want this bank to get a special commendation from Mr. Caston. What? It's him, it's him, it's him. It's the efficiency expert. No, it is not the efficiency expert. Oh, who is it? It's Mr. Grantland, a very important prospective client. Oh, it's a client, it's a client, it's Mr. Grant. Not, not Shh, the client. Quiet! Quiet! <laughs> uh, oh, good morning, Mr. Good Grant. Morning, good morning, Mr. Mr. Mooney. Nice to see you. <coughs> Oh, uh, am I a little too early? Oh, no, that's quite all right, quite all right. I was just giving the morning instructions to my staff. Well, uh, please continue. Don't let me interrupt. Well, thank you very much. Uh, the, oh, will you have a cigar? Thank you. Well, uh, why don't you sit down and make yourself comfortable? Thank you. <coughs> now then, staff, as manager of this bank, I will see you through. If you follow my instructions, I'm sure Mr. Caston will be very impressed. All right, everybody, up on your toes. All right, now get this. The name is Caston. Oliver Caston, okay for short. Uh, good morning, Mr. Caston. I am Theodore J. Mooney, the manager of the bank. Well, ding, 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 ring out the news. <laughs> Why is everybody standing around? This is a bank, not 
Not a mob. Now stop standing around like a bunch of stiffs. Fellas, get behind your cages. Book keepers, back to your books and five and twigs, back to your files. Back to work, 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 work. Move around. No smoking on the job. What's up, man? Either shape up or ship up. Get back to work. Work, 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 work. Uh, Mr. Castenter, you made a terrible mistake. I don't make mistakes. I correct them. Uh, but, sir, uh, Mr. Granton doesn't work here. He is a prospective and important client. Oh, are you glad to see you? Glad to see you. <laughs> Sorry about that cigar. Just a little joke for you. Yeah, take this one. There's a cigar on the floor. Do you like sloppiness? Pick it up! Let me another. Put it! Pick it up! Sorry about that. What does he stand there without a light? Light, 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 light. Yes, light. Is it too important for you to get out of light? Light, light. Wait a minute. Oh, this is a good girl. Nice to see somebody around here who is efficient. Efficiency is the lifeblood of this business, and this girl is efficient. Ah, I don't want any screaming. Don't suck your thumb. It's a dead giveaway. <laughs> oh, I like your style, Red. You've got a good career around here. Mark my words, Mooney, this girl is going places. Yes, and I'd like to tell her where. <laughs> uh, Mr. Caston, sir. Mr. Caston. Uh, just call uh, me. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. I, I, I mean, uh, if we do excuse me, sir, Mr. Granson and I have some important business to discuss. Is that so? Yes. What are we hanging around here for? Boy, go, 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 uh, go, uh, go. Uh, Mr. Mr. Granson, go, 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 go. All right, go. you, Red. Me? You, where do you think you're going? With Mr. Mooney. Yeah, she's my secretary. Oh, you sly dog, you. <laughs> Why? I go for the no, real. No, no, that'll come I... later. Never mind, we've got work to do. You go, 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 go. Hey, Red. Yes, sir. You come with me. Come, 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 yes, 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 come, come, yes. come, 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 Staring at my bald head, huh? Oh, no, no, sir. Never what? mind. It's my proudest possession. I used to have a beautiful full head of curls. Pulled her all out by the roots. Why? Why? Because five minutes every day is saved by not having to comb a lot of messy hair. Oh. That's efficiency. Yes, sir. By the way, sir, my name is Lucio Carmichael. Lucio Carmichael? Yes. That's the name. Carmichael. Carmichael. Let me see. Carmichael. That's three syllables. Uh, Lucio, two syllables. Together, that's five syllables. And an average day, I'll have to address you 41 times. That's a total of 205 syllables. Too long. I'll just call you Red. Yes, sir. Now, let's get cracking. Show me about the bank. There's work to be done. Come with me. Come, come, yes, come, yes, come, yes, come, yes, come, yes. come, 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 come. Why do you want to buy? Why do you insist on crowding me? I didn't mean. I didn't mean. I'm sorry, crowding sir. Crowding me is just a waste of time. Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't you ever waste any time at all, sir? Can't afford to. You see, I have 12 children to support. 12 children? How long have you been married? 12 years. That's sufficiency. Come, come, come. <laughs> Well, Mr. Mooney, I think the terms and conditions of this agreement are more than fair. Well, thank you, thank you. Our bank is most anxious to have the Grantland Toy Company as a member of our happy family. Well, now, if my board of directors agree with the terms of this loan, I think I can assure you of the Grantland Toy Company account. Oh, good, good, good. You'll be seeing me very shortly. Well, you're fine, sir, fine. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, sir. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Mooney. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Oh, no, Mooney, you rascal. You've done it again. <laughs> Mr. Caston is not going to like you wasting time dancing. Oh. Has, has he finished his tour of the bank yet? Yes, and you know something? He is a very amazing man. He keeps going like perpetual motion. Go, go, go. Work, work, work. Quick, quick, quick. I wonder what makes him repeat everything. I think his mother was frightened by a bunch of radishes. <laughs> now, look, has he suggested any changes for the bank? Not yet, but I'm sure he's going to. Yeah, he's been walking around, looking at everything, shaking his head, and making little notes in a black notebook. Oh, oh. Well, I'm going to make sure that he finds nothing wrong in here. Let's see. Uh, you know, that's all right. Filing cabinet. Good. Uh, that's over there. Uh-huh! What? I found something. What? The wall heater. It's in a direct line with the water cooler. So? Well, that isn't efficient. You see, the water isn't as cool as it should be because of its contact with the hot air. Hey, it's pretty good thinking. Mm. I think you're an expert on hot air. <laughs> I mean that. I know, 
what you mean. I I better move this thing. Where can I put it? Uh, yes, this will be a good place right here. That's, that, that's better. I think so, too. Yes, well, I, I hope our Mr. Efficiency expert approves of this. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, mm -hmm. are, uh, are you afraid of him? Afraid of him? Certainly not. I don't particularly like him. He reminds me of my wife. <laughs> Is she efficient, too? No, she's bald. <laughs> Uh, see, uh, how many letters do I have to send out this morning? Oh, all right, let's see. What have we got here? One office, one executive, one secretary. Good, 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 good. Uh, yes. uh, you'll find nothing wrong in here, sir. Uh, everything looks fine, except... What is this water cooling doing over here? Thought I wouldn't notice it, huh? It should be over there. That's where it used to be. Who's the idiot who moved it? He is. <laughs> Well, I had a perfectly Don't good reason. Don't, 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 Don't sputter. If the water cooler is by the door. Every time the door opens and closes, there will be an influx of air. The draft will change the temperature in the water. And you're not thinking, Mooney. No, you're not thinking, Mooney. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Oh, well, don't be. <laughs> Gee whiz, I got a boy. I know that, baby. <laughs> Relax. As a matter of fact, at the main office, we all think you're very good. Good, 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 good. Oh, oh. You even have a little reward for you. Oh, what's that, sir? The key to the executive washroom. <laughs> oh, thank you. I knew you'd like it. And one other thing, Mrs. Mooney, I'm going to take your secretary away from you. Oh, you don't have to do that, sir. No, sir, you have done enough for me already. <laughs> uh, well, what time do you want her to report to your office? She's already in my office. <laughs> no, no, sir. This is my office. Not is. Was. <laughs> Well, if you use this, what am I going to use for an office? I just gave you the key. <laughs> All right, Rand, I want you to keep a careful record of any messages I might get. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to lunch. I'll be back in precisely seven minutes. Yes, sir. <laughs> this water cooler, I wanted it moved. It's still here. When I give an order, I want it obeyed. When I want it to move, I want it to move, move, move. Move, 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 move. All the time, move, when I say it. And I no free blotters. Stop that, ladies. <laughs> it reminds me of a sergeant I once knew. Shh. Uh, better move this thing, I suppose. Uh, well, I'll help you. Yeah. Haven't you helped me enough already, you Benedict Arnold, you? Oh, oh no, well, I could just try to do it. You don't have to do it. Like that. That. <laughs> May I uh, speak to you, Mrs. Carmichael? All right. What is it, GM? Well, uh, Mrs. Carmichael, in all the years of our association, I could never get you to do even your own work, let alone extra jobs. But in just two short days, Mr. Caston has turned you into a, a human dynamo. Why? Well, because, GM, Mr. Caston has taught me the meaning of efficiency. He gave me ambition. He gave me my get up and go. Mr. Caston has taught me the power of positive thinking. I can be anything I want to be. Success goes to the worker, not the shirker. Do you remember the story of the grasshopper and the ant? Grasshopper and the ant? I've been so busy, I've forgotten about the birds and the bees. Back to your job, PM. Go, 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 go. All right, open up. Open up, here we go. On your toes, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Good morning. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Got oh, hi, Mary Jane. Oh, see, are you all right? Sure, why? Well, you were gone when I stopped by your apartment for breakfast this morning. That's right. I left at 6.30. You know, the early bird catches the worm. That worm? All I wanted was toast and coffee. <laughs> I've turned over a new leaf, Mary Jane. I've learned in order to get anywhere today, you've got to move, move, move. By the way, I'm going to have to call off our bowling date tonight. I'm working late. Oh, well, can we go tomorrow night? Sorry, I'm working late tomorrow night, too. Gee, Lucy, I never get to see 
see you anymore. How about lunch today? Okay. Oh, I'll pick you up at 12. But I have to be back by 12.14. 14 minutes for lunch? That's right. I'm entitled to 16 minutes. But yesterday I took 18, so now I owe them two. <laughs> Lucy, you better stop washing your hair with that soft water. It's seeping into your brain. Fred, how's everything going? Oh, fine, sir. I'd like you to meet my friend Mary Jane, Mr. Caston. Well, how are you? Glad to see you. Glad to see you. I want to tell you, you're lucky to have a girlfriend like her. She knows her way around the business world. She has a bright future. Thank you. She's going to get ahead. I hope so. She needs one. <laughs> Friend? Mr. Caston? Caston, sir. I'm sure you'll be pleased to know that Mr. Grantland called. The Grantland Toy Company is transferring all of its business to our bank. Well, good, good, good. And furthermore, they are going to borrow one million dollars. Bad, bad, bad. What do you mean, bad? How do we know they'll be able to repay their loan? Oh, they're in very good financial condition. Then how come they have to borrow money? <laughs> good. How come they have to borrow money? Good thinking, Brett. How about that? But they're a very good risk. I've seen their financial statements. What? Did you see their factory? Yeah. How do we know they're running their company efficiently? Yeah, how do you know that? If you didn't see the factory, didn't how do you know that they are running, running anything efficiently? efficiently? Will you hold it? Will you hold it? I say a few things once in a while, too. <laughs> Before we lend them money, we're going to run an efficiency check on their factory. Come with me, Red. Come, right, come. right, 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 right. <laughs> Try not to make any more mistakes while I'm gone. <laughs> more efficiently, I'd appreciate it. Your worries are over, baby. Get behind that assembly line, Red. Get behind me? Now, just get into this and get in there. Well, uh... Do as I say, get in there. We'll show them how efficiency is run. Yes, sir, I am, sir. You have no Bradley, fear. you're wanted in your office. Oh, uh, would you excuse me? I need it in my office. I have no fear. Caston is here. Just a minute. Mr. Grant, will you have him turn on that conveyor belt? Turn it on again, will you? By the time you get back, we'll be running this thing smoothly. Show you what efficiency really is. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, Granny. Go ahead, Red. You're on your own. Make me look good. Yes, sir. You can handle it, baby. Yes, sir. Just don't panic. No, sir. They make a big deal out of it. They put four broads on here. They need one. Yes, sir. Good work. Good. Look at this. Perfect, baby. You're going to make me look good. You're doing fine. It's not hard, sir. No, you got it perfect. They went that away. <laughs> One with the words. That's the way to do it. Look how efficient you move. Oh, here comes another one. And you'll handle it beautifully. Atta girl. You're doing fine. I can teach you brain surgery in a week. <laughs> You're beautiful, baby. Thank you, sir. I think this will make a good investment for the bank. Good. I hope so, sir. Doing very well, baby. You certainly have bright ideas, sir. Well, I got a bright girl. I get a bright idea. You're doing Thank fine. Thank you. Oh, here comes another one. <laughs> good girl. Right the first time. How you like one fire truck. Fire truck? What, the fire truck? Where's fire truck? Oh, here's one right here. Good girl, put it on the assembly line. Beautiful fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> Doing great. That's it. Ordering two mama dolls. Now, what's a mama doll, honey? Well, it's a doll that says mama. Well, find it. Where's a mama doll? Here they are. Good mama girl. dolls. Doing mama fine. dolls. It's a 
Cheever's office. They want it as quickly as possible. Don't you worry, sir. I'll hurry. I'll go as fast as I can. I'll just run, run, run. Go, run. go, 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 go! Run, run, run! 